my life. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to, this is going to be a New Year story time video. And this is just where I've been in the past, pre, right before COVID and a little past that. I don't know if I'm going to go back that far. Okay, so I'm Quinn. Okay, I'm a licensed esthetician over here, beauty consultant over here, hair doctor over here, wig doctor over here, okay? Specialized in everything beauty, fashion, and home decor because I love it all. Okay, um, so let's start here. I did say I'm a win and all that. This is just a rub. So I have here bullet points. <laughs> Intro, Queen Gwen, Carmen Gwen. Um, licensed esthetician, hair, fashion, lifestyle enthusiast. Okay, that was better, much better than what I said, right? Okay, let's see if we got some oil going. We might have oil everywhere, honey. We're oily over here, okay? Okay, so I'm older than most girls on YouTube, okay? I'm 42. I'm 42! <laughs> yes! I'm older than the queen herself. Queen B, Beyonce, that is. Okay, so, next. Okay, so, six months ago, I quit my job. I know because I've been counting. July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Yes, yeah, six months ago, I quit my job. Hmm. Not that I needed a reason to quit my job. I was going to leave my job at some point. I had been there five years. But just too many circumstances had happened to me. And yeah, I caught COVID. That's the main reason. I was not going back to that infested place. Um, and so yeah, so I'm jobless. But I am also a boss. So I do a little everything on the side. So I'll be okay. Until I get something else, until I, and I'm, you know, I've always had a side business, believe me. But, yeah, I'll be okay. Um, I'm a mom. I'm skipping topics. So, this is the topic over here I don't even want to do. Um, yes, I'm a mother. At this point, I'm over, I'm over everything. Like, we don't even need to get into, are you over COVID? I'm over COVID. Are you over whatever? I'm, over, I'm just over everything. Oh my God. And yes, if I'm greasy, it's because I had a little rash there. So that's some Vaseline. Um, I'm OCD. Okay. I don't know why I put I'm OCD. Let's talk. I hate black hangers. I need everything to flow. Having too much clothes and sneakers displayed. I don't know. Maybe that's something I've seen and I just it just irked my nerve. I don't really like tennis shoes like that. Okay, so. Whew, don't know why that's there, but if I can just speak from my heart and put my phone down. My heart is, my mind is trying to stop whatever is trying to come to the surface. So, I lost my mom in 2020. Um, and that was my best friend, and now I have nobody to talk to other than my sister. <laughs> but, um, no, I have a big family, we're just not talking, so that's how it is when the matriarch that passes. So, um, I'm just going to do everything I told her I was going to do. I'm going to put one foot in front of the other, I'm just going to do the best I can. Um, I'm not really, I haven't grieved, and I think I can't grieve because it just doesn't make sense. If you ask me what I want to do, I want to go to the graveyard and take out the box because I don't want it in a box. Like, I'm like, why my queen is in a box? And I really do feel like it's the hospital fault at this point, but I just don't even want to get into it. I don't want this 
to bring down my energy because I just this is how but I, what I do want to say is that Kanye West album is helping me um get through like being sane in a car when I'm in a car by myself after I do my carpool drop off my kids keeps me a little sane but I speak to her every day I talk to her in the car every day when I'm by myself sometimes when I'm with the kids it doesn't matter I'm always talking to my mom um I have my Apple Watch and so she's there I have her pictures everywhere it's just, you know, it's a really hard. Um, my bout with COVID wasn't that bad. Um, yes, it was. It was bad, but I'm over these masks. Like, I'm literally over these masks. And because I am a licensed esthetician, skincare is amazing and important to me. So, I like the fact that the mask is covering your face. And so, if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, you don't have the extra sun on you. Well, you're supposed to be using sunscreen anyway. But, it'll help, you know, keep some of that off of your face if you're wearing it outdoors. Um, but, I'm over those too. I'm over the mask. I'm just over everything. I'm just, I know I have more on this, this phone to talk about. Um, I don't want to like throw it all out at one time because then it'll take away from what I need to actually accomplish. But yeah, um, I'm just over it, I guess. Um, oh, what was really bothering me? And that's another thing. My memory like comes and goes. I don't know what that is. I'm not claiming that, Lord. <laughs> but help me with it, please. Um, this year, it started amazing, but it's like I just got stuck, and I was going to, like, continue trying to push, you know, things out, but I kind of got stuck because I'm just, like, I see things, and it, it, it gives me motivation, but then I see things, and it discourages me, and so I don't want to get on that, that, that that plane of where you're like you see something is similar to what you were gonna do but somebody else has done it and you don't want to do it so I just want to do something that hasn't been done and I know that's almost impossible at this point in life um but yeah I really don't want to push my hair back because who do I'll go put some clamps in my hair like just do something and no, we won't do no clips yeah, so I just haven't been like at my best, but I know I'm going to get there. I have so many plans and goals this year, so I'm not going to like stop doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue. Um, the devil is so busy, especially in my life. I don't know. He can't shake me though. He can try, but he cannot shake me, so. Um, I'm going to keep pushing. Um, I'm going to cre keep creating um, things that I think that will help. You know, I just, I don't want my channel to be catered to one thing. I am a black woman. And I'm a woman, period. And so... I can do so many things and I know we might come here and you're looking for hair stuff or you're looking for this or that and the third or whatever you might think or see me do I just do it all and that's why I have so many traits I have so many skills and so I don't want to be put in a box and so I'm not gonna do that on my channel if anything I just want to uplift people like just after these terrible two years i just want to lift up people i mean it's part of who i am it's probably why i am a esthetician or beauty enthusiast is the word because i just like helping people and so if i can give like what i use my recommendations what helps me i learn so much from youtube so that's all i want to bring and so i mean i didn't get into the nitty-gritty because I just don't feel it. Like, the minute I start, talk, I start talking about my mom, I just, like, I, like, leave. Like, my mind, like, is, like, it just goes blank. And 
she's my fashion icon she's my hero she's my queen she's my everything and oh my god mom you are so missed you are so loved um i miss and love you terribly like terribly but yeah so that's why i said once i get into that zone i like kind of like it's just like I have thoughts. I have to like literally write everything down, which is great. If you like Kanye saying a song, oh, let's see if we can play a little bit of it. So I'm telling you, this album really helped me. You know, YouTube be trying to demonetize you for everything, but honey, I'm barely making money. I ain't making no money on YouTube. So, um, what is the name of the song? Oh, here it is. a little bit and I'm probably gonna cut some of that out because of course YouTube don't want you playing other people's music okay whatever but did that help me you know um write it down get journals like this is a new year listen we're going to we're gonna get through and sometimes you just need something or someone to talk to and I think talking to this camera is going to be like my something and someone until I like really, really am ready to deal with everything normally. Because I don't know what that means normally or normal because music is really like my therapy. It's always been my therapy. Like I'm very much, um, I'm a minister's daughter. My mom also was a minister, so both of my parents and my father was an evangelist. Well, not evangelist, he was a, um, he was a minister, and so, more like an evangelist. But, just, I'm, like, grounded in, in the spirit of God. The building, going into the building was, like, I had been cut off from that because of just things I've seen, how they walked away from certain things as well, but... Just in general, I'm like a, a person that loves music from just growing up in the church. And, um, yeah, so that has helped me a little. And just staying grounded and just speaking to her like she's here. Because I know that's what she will want. She won't want me to be like in a bad place. And I'm not in a bad place, but I can go. Like, it can get dark. It can really get dark, so... Um, I just wanted to get on my chest that, you know, it's a new year. I'm going to do whatever I can to do what I need to do um, for me and my family. And we're going to be good. And this is just something I'm doing to just, like, like connect um, with someone. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm going to connect with people. I think I am. I'm... I'm I'm trying my hardest to, like, cause some of my people, honey, your, 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 your kinfolk ain't always your kinfolk. And blood is so not thicker than water. Please believe it. Like, your mother's bond is one thing. Who are they? Like, who are these people? <laughs> like, God is good because, honey, mm, mm. That stuff you be seeing on TV, on reality TV, you be like, oh, that's hate. Family don't do that. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, at the worst time. Yes, they do. They nuts. Like, oh, I hate it. At, oh, my hair. Like, oh, my. I get sick in my stomach because, like, literally, you, like, you just want to go. And I'm not even a fighter, but I just want like, why? She had enough of us. We should be here for each other. But and some of us look identical. Like I, me and my sister look identical. Like the oldest and the youngest. We almost have the same. Man. I even when I watch myself back in some of my videos, I'm like, oh my god, girl, you look like her. Why? Why you look like her? 
Like, why y'all have the same mannerisms? Like, seriously, we do, and I don't even care for it. But mm, I ain't make me. God did. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go listen to some Donja, and now I'm gonna get some food. I got this off my chest, guys. Subscribe. <laughs> um, so I know that you want me here. You know, like I kind of, you know, not be again, but I'm like, do y'all want me here? Yes, so stay tuned. I'll be making more videos on things I love. And if you get something from it, I'm happy. And I'll be doing more of these like sit down talks, chats, rants, really rants, because I don't have nobody to talk to. Y'all have nothing to say to me, so I'm going to just be talking to y'all whether y'all want to hear me or not, okay? And I just did a video on this wig. I hope this wig lace ain't showing, because, honey, it